It's no surprise that state parks were packed on this Independence Day, but in Salem, tensions that have been building for years over lack of space and noise, it boiled over and residents found themselves clashing with the park goers throughout the day. Channel 3 Avenue's news reporter Matthew Campbell is at Gardner Lake with more on this ongoing problem. Kevin, residents here around Gardner Lake say this has been somewhat of a hidden gem, but over the last few years, the secret has gotten out, and today, hordes of people packed this place. At 8.30 this morning, it was at capacity, and people are driving here from other states. We saw New York, we saw Massachusetts, so they're not just going to be turning around. They're going to venture out and park on residential streets, and some found themselves in some trouble. Tow trucks and troopers were outside Gardner Lake this morning in Salem as parked cars lined the streets leading up to the state park. I came out to seven. Macho Cruz came from Hartford early this morning, so he was safe, but he did see and hear the conflicts later in the morning after the lake reached its capacity. A lot of people stay outside and get towed. I don't want to be standing in the way of anybody's good time. I just, uh, when you put up no parking signs, please don't park here and you need to park regardless. That's that's when it's frustrating. We saw several homemade no parking signs, but it didn't stop some park goers. This guy was sitting in his minivan and he started rubbing his rings and uh, he just like, well, uh, how many tow trucks are you going to get to uh, tow us away? And he just had a pretty threatening demeanor. But the cars aren't the only nuisance. The jet skis have been extremely noisy. They've been racing across the lake. The revving motors woke Kate Johnson up at 6 this morning, and our cameras confirmed the action was nonstop. NCON police tell us they had two officers on the water giving out three dozen warnings for speed and other safety issues. One arrest was made after sources say officers had to wrestle a jet skier in the water. Both officials and locals agree that since many of the offenders aren't from Connecticut, they unknowingly break the rules. And I don't know how we can get that across to the jet skier population. Even though this was a hectic day, police do say no injuries happened here at the lake. But after experiencing all of the issues today, residents do plan to bring up these traffic concerns at the next town hall meeting. That's the latest here in Salem tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel 7 News.